Welcome to Whatever Happened to Pizza at McDonald's, the investigative journalism program where I ask the question, Whatever Happened to the Pizza at McDonald's? I'm your host, Brian Thompson. Zoom Pizza in Mountain View, California is not your run-of-the-mill pizzeria. You're not going to find any surly chefs tossing dough or slopping sauce around here, namely because people have very little to do with the actual production process. Instead, the company relies on an array of robots, machine learning AI, and ovens packed right into the trucks themselves to ensure that every delivery arrives piping hot. That was an excerpt from a report filed five years ago by Andrew Tarantula, associate editor of the technology blog Engadget about one of the many Silicon Valley startup companies seeking to disrupt an industry by making it much worse for both consumers and workers. The goal of the Zoom Corporation was to eliminate human labor from the pizza business and replace it with a team of pizza-making robots crammed into the back of delivery trucks. Unfortunately, while the resulting pizzas arrived at their destinations freshly baked and scalding hot as promised, the company failed to solve other problems posed by the act of mobile pizza making. Many customers reported receiving pizzas with cheese, sauce, and toppings smeared around in a haphazard mess due to being robotically assembled along bumpy roads. Eventually, Zoom trucks stopped delivering directly to consumers at all and began parking in strategic locations to act as miniature pizza kitchens, albeit one staffed entirely by robots. And now, after several years of no success whatsoever, Zoom has officially shut down. It may always be a mystery why Zoom failed to disrupt legacy pizza delivery companies almost all consumers enjoy very much and have hardly any complaints about. In fact, Zoom's failure seems somewhat inconceivable, considering they had the revolutionary idea of shoving robots in a truck and also had nearly half a billion dollars in venture capital money to make this revolutionary idea a reality. But I am not a business expert. I am a journalist. And, as a journalist, I feel it is my duty to get to the bottom of things. And one of the things I would like to get to the bottom of is how much it would cost me to buy some of Zoom's surplus robots so that I might train them how to make original recipe McDonald's pizza. Obviously, there are some potential challenges inherent in this endeavor, and I would like to address some of those now. First and foremost being the issue of copyright. While no one could argue that I am not within my legal authority to train robots to create original recipe McDonald's pizzas for my own personal consumption, the fact is that I will most likely have to sell these pizzas at a profit to pay for things like the cost of materials, the cost of the robots, and my personal living expenses, which I assume will become more lavish as my profit grows. Do I have the right to do this as a private citizen who is not in any way affiliated with McDonald's? As far as I am concerned, I very much do. In fact, I believe that due either to some legal loophole or simply because the company forgot to file a claim with the trademark office, even the McDonald's Corporation holds no ownership over the McDonald's brand. After all, the name McDonald's is in the very title of this very program to which the very you are listening right now, and I have yet to receive any kind of cease and desist. Another challenge will be training the robots to make original recipe McDonald's pizza. The methodology is somewhat simple. Some former McDonald's employees have even posted on Reddit exactly in what pattern to place all the pepperonis. But I am not a computer programmer, much less a robotologist, and will therefore have to hire someone with such expertise via a professional headhunting agency, such as Fiverr.com or I could simply wait for one of said former McDonald's employees to pass away and lobby their family for possession of their brain, which I could then implant into the head of one of my pizza-making robots. But before addressing any of these concerns, I feel the ethics of robot labor must first be discussed. The great advantage to using robots for my workforce is that they need not be paid a wage or offered any kind of medical benefit 
beyond the occasional spritzing from an oil can. However, I am somewhat concerned that robots advanced enough to achieve complex tasks like cooking an original recipe McDonald's pizza might necessarily have developed certain traits that would cause me great moral and legal discomfort were I to exploit their free labor. Specifically, I am concerned that these robots may contain a soul. As the CEO of Pizza Plea Media, I have a somewhat antagonistic attitude toward basic labor rights, but as a proud member of the Pizza Plea Guild, I also believe human beings whose work is the sole driver of capital should be fairly compensated. If these robots possess souls, their very essence may be uncomfortably close to that of a human being's, and thus I would be forced by conscience and the National Labor Relations Board to pay them something approaching a living wage. But just as I am no expert on business or robotology, I am also no expert on matters of the spirit. Thankfully, I know some people who are. Thank you for calling Crossroads 24-Hour Prayer Line. Gospel Prayer Line, how may I pray for you? Hello, I'm just calling for some spiritual advice, really. My name is Brian Thompson. Hi. Uh, so, you need God to, to lift up your spirit, right? Well, um, yes, actually, but that's not why I'm calling. I'm about to employ a number of robots for a business that I'm starting, and I was just concerned that these robots may have souls and therefore should not be exploited labor-wise. So do you have any advice on whether or not robots have souls? Uh I have no idea. Oh, really? But God knows everything. So mm. let us come to the Lord and ask God to fill you with uh, the discernment to make the right choice and to uh, guide you to uh, to make the right decisions. So let us pray. Okay. Heavenly Father, Brian comes to you lifting up the situations that is in his heart. Father, right now Brian is planning to employ the robot for his business, but he is not understand how this works and whether the robot has souls. So Father, may you show him all the things, the necessary knowledge that he needs to have before he make this decision for we know that robot is a man-made things but brian choose to believe in you lord the heavenly father that has supreme power and that you know what is best for his business so we thank you lord jesus that you will help Ryan to totally trust and rely on you in making every business decision so that it will be a great blessing for your kingdom and for your glory. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, etc. Well, thank you very much for that prayer. Um, I have a couple of questions just to follow up. Uh, number one, do you know um, when I might be hearing back from God um, as to whether or not these robots do have souls? Um, I don't know exactly when I will be purchasing them, but uh, time is sort of of uh, the essence, I would imagine. So you can go online and uh, to check it out. But uh, yeah, and... Uh, I can go online to, to God.com or... Um, because uh, I believe that uh, there is a lot of uh, information about uh, these AI things that is uh, um, in the company or in the things, but uh, mm -hmm. but of course you also need to get uh, 
um, pray and to ask God for the best. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I will be continuing to do that. So I should hear back from him via prayer fairly soon, is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because uh, you remember when the, the, the disciples, the early disciples, they choose to someone to replace Judah, and uh, they cast lot. So, uh, and... Uh, but we we need to have uh, God hearts to to make the right decision. So, if you have difficulties and and uh, you can uh, try to pray and ask God to okay. show you the sign and whatever things that uh, God can to reveal to you, so that you can make the right decision. Okay, is that a story from from Bible? Uh. Yeah, it's Judas when they uh when he passed away, he killed himself, so they need one apostle to uh, replace Judas. So uh they cast lost and to ask God but remember they are praying, not just to cast lost, but pray to the Lord and ask God because God knows everything. What is uh uh right for for us, so we need to pray, and uh, this is one of the way that, or you can pray God to give you some signs that whether you can um, uh, employ this robot for your business or not. Okay. So, uh, okay, I, I'll review that that story from Bible. I I read Bible um, quite a while ago. Well, I didn't actually literally read Bible. I, I listened to the audio book. It was read by James Earl Jones, um, who you may know as Thulsa Doom from Conan the Barbarian. But I, I, well, I sort of zone out well, a little. I, I, well, I strongly encourage you to read the Bible oh, because okay. God has a lot of great promises. And uh, he says so clearly that blessed is the man who finds wisdom and understanding in Bible, for it is more profitable than silver, mm. and it yield better return than gold. Okay. Well, I definitely do plan to, at the very least, rewind the audio book uh, cassette tape and listen to that part again. Whenever I do have time, I cannot literally read because I'm very busy and I have to multitask, as I'm sure you understand. But sometimes when I'm listening to an audio book, I tend to uh, metaphorically zone out. So um, I will be sure to pay attention well, when I so, rewind it. I, yeah. You've raised it. Anyway, a... put, put God first because sometimes we are busy in our daily lives once we get the things or the money, but you know that it is God that is in control of everything. Sure. So put God first and uh, your business will be even more prosperous. Okay. Because God is much, much wiser than us. I have no doubt that my business will yeah, be very so, prosperous because this is yeah, going to be creating a product that the world is desperately needing and has missed for quite a few years. But um, you, you mentioned my business, and, and speaking of, you, you also said that I should be expecting, or at least I should pray for some sort of a sign from God uh, regarding the question of whether these robot workers uh, do or do not have souls. Um as far as signs go, um, do you think I should pray for something? What would be very useful is if I could get perhaps maybe a letter in the mail from God saying maybe just a yes or no, just a yes or no, maybe just like a business card that says yes yeah. or no in the mail from God would be adequate. Uh, uh, okay, so Father, you heard the concern of Brian. So are, are, we, play, are we praying again? Pardon me? I'm sorry. Are, you're, are we're we're praying again? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. We are praying I, I, for it now. Okay. So, Father Brian, leave up these concerns into your hands. May you show him the signs and the confirmations. If a letter coming from this is is the true confirmations, that certainly he will always obey you and follow your way. So thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving him this confirmation so that he will do everything that is according to your way and to also 
and from now on to put you first to get the directions and guidance so that you will not easily fall into the enemy's hands. So thank you, Lord Jesus, for, for protecting his business and to also give him the wisdom to make every right decision. Thank you, Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you very much. I will be looking for that card in the mail. Uh, just one very quick question before I leave you. Um, what exactly is a soul? Sorry, what, what did you say? What exactly is a soul? Um, it's just as far as chemically speaking, uh, is it made of ectoplasm? If it were transformed into a liquid, how many cups would it fit into, et cetera? Uh, so, uh, I, I haven't thought of measuring a soul. So, um, uh, well, that's okay. I was just curious if you, if you knew offhand how many cups a soul was. Essence of a human mm. that survived after death. That includes one identity, personality, and memory that is believed to be able to survive physical death. Even oh, okay. even uh, when we pass away, then uh, there is still a soul. So uh, I I don't think um, I don't, I don't know whether it's help you much, but uh, so is a spirit thing. Okay. That makes sense. That, that actually sounds fairly similar. There's a, a motion picture that I'm a rather large fan of mm -hmm. called um, Star Trek Three: Where the Heck is Spock? And they talk about something uh, called the Katra, which sounds very similar. Um, Have you seen Star Trek Three: Where the Heck is Spock? Uh, uh, I I don't think uh, uh, because I I I've just heard on online some people said that AI they have emotions they have feelings and uh, oh, really? and they can do things that even uh, uh, outside what the people instruct them because suppose they are just a robot that they will listen to the guidance or the commands of uh of of the one that created them just mm. like a computer when we type in things it will just come out to the things that we type in but uh, right now they develop into some ai that they can think their own ways and that they have emotions mm. and they have things but i haven't got too deep into that so i cannot tell you anything Okay. But, uh, well, if I if I hear uh, back from God, I will call back and, and let you know what I find out. Oh, yeah, that's, that will be great because uh, it is not from God, as I've said. Mm. So man-made man things is uh, not good for man, mm. uh, but God is a good God. So uh, rely on God and not God to, to help you with anything that, uh, that may help you with. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, well, thank you very much for your you. your help and your and your expertise. Um, I believe that. I believe those are all the questions that I have right now. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, well, uh, no. I I just uh, uh, try to pray for you and guide you to the Lord because uh, I don't know much about uh, what what level of the robot that you purchase or what kind of things that God wants to do in your life. But there is one key that uh, I believe that uh, God is drawing you back to his word so that uh, you can be empowered with the Holy Spirit and to make the right decisions in your life. Because in the Bible, they, we, there is a lot of wisdom and discernment and knowledge that uh, if we do things According to all that is based in the Bible, then it will not easily to fall into the trap of the evil one. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, great. Wonderful. Well, I can't wait to rewind the tape. Uh, thank you very much for everything once again. And um, God bless you. God bless you as well. Yeah, stay close to God.
God time. bless you. The put God first. Put God first. Then everything you do will be taken care of by His mighty hands. I will take that into God consideration. You and have a good day. Thank you. You too. Bye. Goodbye. Do you know what happened to pizza at McDonald's? Do you remember it? Please send all correspondence to pizza at McDonald's at gmail.com. To support the show, please join my Patreon at patreon.com slash pizza at McD's for exclusive benefits. And for more information, including links to social media, merchandise opportunities, etc., visit pizza at McDonald's.com. Thank you to my invaluable Patreon producers, Dan Dreyer, David Friedman, Grant Bacon, Jacob Ford, Joe Kajic, Kimberly King, Kyle Turok, Nicole Besta, Pam Gabriel, Polly Egan, Wesley, Wesley, Will, Andrew Duffy, Andrew Ahmed Rubin, Billy Jean, Brad Allen Thompson, Gerald Lewis, Jay Poop, Calvin Thomas, Can You Fly Bobby, Laurel Paul, Mel, Mitchell Kordick, Opus Moreshi, Paul Fu, and Ryan Guggenmoss. I'm Brian Thompson, investigative journalist. <laughs>